take your privacy seriously. You guys should check out private internet access. They support gift cards, all major credit cards, Bitcoin, and PayPal. They also support iOS, Android, Linux, Windows, Mac, more. They also have 3,000 servers in over 28 countries, so you should never really have a problem with speeds. You can connect uh, five different devices. You can block ads, trackers, and malware, no traffic logs, unlimited bandwidth, and so on. Link will be below. They got a great deal going on. So here is that router vid that everybody should uh, be waiting on. Now, I'm gonna go over a couple things really quick. You may need to look up the brand of your router if you do not have a little card or underneath your router modem, if your ISP gave you a combo. If they didn't give you the login information, you can either request it from them, look in your manual, look around your router box. If not, you're gonna have to type in the make and model of your router into Google and you'll get the IP. So most routers do 192.168.0.1 or 192.168.1.1, 192.168.2.1, okay? And when you type that in the address bar, it will take you to your router page if you got the correct uh, router number. There is ways to find this out. If you have a device connected to wireless, view the IP. If the IP for your phone or your Android box is 192.168.1.1, 50 then more than likely the address for your router is going to be dot one or one dot zero okay so you would go you would log in if you don't know the login information most of them will be admin for the username password for the password if not sometimes it will be the, the brand of the router or modem so if you also don't know that you can type that uh, your brand and model number into Google and find out the login information for that along with the IP to actually get to it okay unfortunately I'm not gonna sit here and name everything because it's, it's damn near impossible to name everything but you guys should get an idea so hopefully uh, this will be beneficial to you after watching this video this video may be long and I'm gonna go over a couple things I'm gonna try not to make this too long and too complicated Okay, but I'm gonna to touch on some things, okay? So we're gonna start off with the setup tab. Now, your router settings, if you're on a D-Link, TP-Link, TP Belkin, it's all gonna look different, but you should be able to find these settings somewhere, okay? So we're gonna start off with your wireless security, okay? So basically, this is where you pick the security mode, the encryption type, you set a network ID, and you set your security key, okay? So when you connect your devices, like I have mine for WIN, which is Virus Infected Network, short formed, okay? But the encryption mode, a lot of people sometimes will do WPA or WPA2, or they'll do WEP, which is weaker security. WPA and WEP is a lower security. Um, most of your devices and all that are new, then you should have no problem running W. Uh, PA2 so you're gonna want to run that encryption type Normally you'll have two options there. Okay, they may not be the exact same as this But you're gonna want to pick AES. It may not allow you to pick the other one some do some don't they may not allow you to pick the other one until you actually Switch it to something like this, which again, you don't want that you want WPA2 you want the strongest security ever for your for your wireless login password you want to set this to something where it's not easy to get into. Now, as you can see here, I have the five gigahertz channel disabled. Where I live, I can benefit from the five gigahertz. However, I don't care to use it. I have used it on boxes and I've gotten pretty goddamn nice speeds. What this does is if your router is in, you know, the living room and you have a setup in the living room and your device allows a five gigahertz, if you use that, it can cut down on interference interference from 2.4. So basically, if you don't know, everybody in the world who has Wi-Fi, they mostly run off of 2.4. So if you are connecting to, so if you're connecting to other networks around you that are on 2.4, you're going to get overlapping. You're going to get interference. Going on that five gigahertz, if there's nobody around you on it, you're going to benefit from some good speeds. However, you have to be in the same proximity as your router okay you cannot be you know having your router on 
the top floor of your house and be in the basement and expect to get good speeds because five uh, gigahertz cannot penetrate through thick walls, floors and stuff like that. It's more for if you're in the same proximity. Doesn't matter if you have a router with 10 different antennas, you're still gonna run into issues. So 2.4 is gonna be the one for you or run a power line adapter and you'll get full speeds. Okay, so I have mine disabled. Again, you can keep this enabled and then just set a password. So if you do wanna end up setting it up. So next on your router, you may have a setting called uh, WPS, okay? This I have disabled because I don't like it. It allows you with devices to go over to your modem router, hit this button and activate a pin, okay? It's annoying and um, some routers have problems with this. So I have just disabled this. If you don't use it, just disable it, okay? I just wanted to get that out of the way. Okay, next we're gonna be looking at the radio settings. This may not be called radio settings for you. This will be called something else, okay? Now, if you remember me talking about that overlapping and stuff like that and interference from other people who have Wi-Fi around you, I'm gonna leave a link below to a Windows tool and I'll leave one to Mac. You can find stuff like this on Android and iOS, okay? But it's a tool this is called a Wi-Fi info view. So basically what it does is when you open it, okay, I'm gonna block out these Macs, but you have a list of frequencies and stuff here, but the channel is what you're gonna wanna pay attention to, okay? So you have people here who are running on high channels, which is five gigahertz, okay? And then you have people who are running on your basic one to 11, or if you're in the UK, it goes one to 13. I believe it's 1 to 13 or 1 to 12. I can't remember fully. However, this is something good that you should run. So you can kind of get an idea because most routers will have this uh, channel setting to auto or they'll have it to six, okay? Six is pretty bad. Once everybody's home, they may have turned off their Wi-Fi. Once everybody's home, turns on their stuff, you may notice that it's getting more congested, okay? So basically a program like this will tell you what is being used. So one right now is being used by one person. Channel three is being used by one. Channel six is being used by two. Channel nine, two. Channel 11, two. Okay. So me and some other guy are using channel 11 because with the channels, they have it basically one is low speed and 11 will give you higher speeds. Okay. So if you are noticing your speeds are kind of screwed, you know, you're paying for 80 down and you're getting 10 up on your box and this is not set to auto and this is set to six, put it to one, reboot your router, okay, and modem. So you know that the settings are taking effect, connect your device and run a speed test. See what it comes back as. If it comes back as something lower or higher, then, you know, keep it like that for a couple days and do a couple more tests throughout the days and see how it goes. If you notice that it's dipping down again, check that interference. If you notice people have gone to one, then what you're gonna wanna do is go to 11. You can do seven um, and stuff like that, okay? Now, there's another option for an extended channel for this. It may be called something else for the different routers. I can't pick uh, another number because I have the channel with set to 20 megahertz okay you have the option on some routers for 20 auto or 40 or 20 40 okay basically what this does is it increases the range of the signal okay so basically if you're on 20 you're still gonna cover your house but if you do 40 you will get a bit a greater range but you run into a thing called overlapping which Again, if you're doing six and you have this set to 2040 or 40, you're gonna be overlapping with people in your area and you may notice speed problems and interference, okay? Cause you gotta remember other 2.4 devices, gigahertz devices will take effect in how they do with your signal, okay? And also network type, you have the option to set this to BG and N or BG or GN or BGN. Basically, what you're gonna wanna do is do G and N, okay? No devices unless you're from 1980 should be connected on B. 
going to all of these and you connect a lower device that only uses the B network, you will take a massive speed hit. So if you're, all your devices are capable of doing N, put it to N. You'll get more maximized speed on your devices than you would running a GN because some devices may not be N compatible, okay? You can always put this to N and then check your devices and see if they see the Wi-Fi signal. If they don't see the Wi-Fi signal, your device is not N rated, okay? So that way you will need to put it back to G, okay? And as you can see here, the wireless interface, this is where I've disabled that 5G too, okay? So you're gonna wanna disable the security and the wireless aspect of it if you don't wanna use 5G, okay? I hope this is not too confusing. So basically, to minimize and best chance of not having overlapping and getting better speeds, channel 11, 20 megahertz, and doing GNN or just N, okay? Uh, will work out better for you. Next is guest network. If you have this enabled and you don't have people coming over and you've never ever used this, disable it. Do not keep it on. Just disable it, okay? It can be a hindrance. Just disable it, okay? Next, we're gonna look at QoS, which is quality of service, okay? Basically, this can impact your devices and what gets prioritized and what doesn't get prioritized. Some of these you may wanna watch messing with. Some routers will give you info on these services. I believe this does, yeah. Wi-Fi multimedia, which is WWM, is supported by default. If WWM is also supported by your wireless carriers for voice and multimedia traffic, will give higher priority than other traffic. So if something like your box needs more or bandwidth, it will give it to them instead of a device that is maybe just web browsing, okay? So you're gonna wanna leave something like that enabled, okay? Now you have no ACK. Uh, this setting is recommended for voice, which is speeds, uh, speed of transmission, which is important, and packet losses uh, tolerable to a certain degree. If you disable uh, an act line, an acknowledged packet is returned for every packet received. This provides more reliable transmission, but increased traffic loads, which decreases performance. This is up to you to disable or enable. Some routers will actually have this uh, enabled and some don't, okay? So again, that's up to you to mess with. Um, if you have noticed it on mine, like a WMM is enabled, NOAC is disabled, uh, if you want, try switching it around okay you may also have another setting too uh it's on delic routers i can't remember what it's called i'll put it in the description if i can remember but there's this thing if you have it enabled it can botch your connection really bad uh, this was on old routers for d-link um so you may want to look through you'll you'll find it around uh the quality of service tab okay uh, just to let you know Next, we're looking at the firewall, okay? Uh, a lot of people, will, you know, want to put this to high. That's up to you, okay? This can be good if your router is getting hit and stuff like that, or if something tries to penetrate, it can be blocked, okay? Um, you know, you can set this to custom and you can block certain things. You can put it to off. Uh, that's all up to you, okay? Uh, sometimes, you know, routers will do stupid things when they try and block. So if you have a firewall on your computer and stuff like that and you feel comfortable, disable it on your router, but just be warned that you may end up, you know, if something comes through with a lot of traffic, it may not block it and you may notice the speed decrease. So you can just keep it on low. Routers and modems sometimes will have a VPN pass through. Uh, you'll have settings that you can configure this. Uh, more advanced settings, it will allow you to input uh, VMP info and stuff like that. Now, if you're not using it, you can disable it, okay? Okay, next we're going to be looking at port forwarding, port range forwarding, and port triggering and DMZ. Basically, port forwarding allows certain ports on things, like if you have an Xbox, okay, you can port forward certain games that are on your PC 
to allow it so if you have an strict knot type or stuff like that you can bypass this um this is something you could go to i think there's a website called port forwarding it has loads of information on different routers makes and programs and games and stuff like that you can configure this for uh, if you're doing this for media streaming you really shouldn't have an issue one thing you may want to check out is dmz okay what this allows is for a device you can only do one device okay so on your device your android box you would normally have it set to a dynamic ip so it goes you know whatever the router sends to your box is what you're gonna get you're gonna want to set a static ip so for your box you could set 192.168.1. you know 47. come over to dmz would enable this 192.168.1.47. what it does is anything from your box it will bypass any port forwarding and security setting to your router okay it basically gives it a free zone not to be blocked by anything not to be monitored this is dangerous <laughs> depending on what device you do and what you're doing okay if you're noticing problems with your router and you can't seem to figure it out with the channel and stuff like that or you know firewalls and stuff you could easily try a dmz and see how it does but that's what it does okay it basically knocks uh, any type of security block okay next you have admin okay around some of the different modems and routers this is where you might have a upnp option people sometimes disable this you don't want to disable this it's universal plug and play this is good to have okay it will configure and do your stuff with connections and devices to allow you to have no issue okay you can also set up a different username and password for your router around the admin management tabs Okay, you also can restart your device around there. So that's something you're gonna wanna pay attention to too. Cause after you're done all this, you're gonna wanna save your settings. So after you're done all this, you're gonna wanna save your settings and then reboot your device, okay? And then once it's rebooted, you wanna connect your Android box and your phone and all that. And you wanna do some tests and see what your speeds are, okay? Again, this is something that a lot of people do or do not know. You know, I would advise you before you mess around, download, I'll leave a link for this tool, download something like this, see what networks are being, you know, what channels are being used. If you're on auto, you could be on six. There could be 10 people on six, two on one and zero on 11. Switch to 11, okay? Then, you know, save it, reboot, do a test, see how it is. If you're noticing the speeds aren't that, much improved, you know, maybe 10 megabytes, but you want to try and get 15 more or 20 more, then go and change the wireless channel, you know, the, the 40 or 20 MHZ, mess with that and see what is to come of your device. Uh, anytime I've set up a router, I've done it like this and I've had no issue with Wi-Fi. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Peace out. And see you in my next video. I made it to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget, on the left is a video in Main Lake, and on the right, you can check out my last video again. Thank you for checking out the video. It means a lot. See you on my next one. Peace.